Hey guys, Donkey Balls here, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit something different today. I'm going to be reviewing ramen noodles, and today's special is going to be, uh, this. It's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it mirrorized, but it says Bulldog Corn Flavored Hot Chicken Flavored Ramen. Now, I already cooked this ahead of time, but I haven't finished putting on the final touches. So, according to... Actually, a whole collection of this this brand. This is the mildest I could find. Lighting's not so good, but bear with me on this one. All right, so as you could, you know, the funny thing is that it smells like buttered corn. I mean, look if you look at it here, look at that. It even almost looks like corn, and it smells like corn. That that thing smells very buttery, but it also comes with this. This is um. This is the soup base. This is what makes it, I think, spicy. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. I'm gonna add it. What the hell are my scissors? Where the hell are my scissors? There they are. Okay. This is gonna be, I don't know, I've never had this flavor before. So this is my first time trying it. So, there we go. Now I got the thing open. There we go. Bleh. There we go, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. That's appetizing. Oh, it feels so weird even like pushing it out of the thing. It's all goopy, yuck. All right, that's good enough. Uh, all right, so just gonna give this a nice little stir. Some of these noodles did not get cooked all the way, so they're like al dente. But all the other ones were cooked thoroughly. As you can see with that. Is there still smoke coming out of it? All right, it's still pretty hot because I still see smoke coming out of that thing. All right, and I'm gonna throw in a mushroom in there, and let's see how good it tastes. I'll like the mushroom thing later. Okay, it's time to eat the daki mas. Okay, now it's, it smells a little better than before, because the other one, it just the other at before I put the soup base on here, it smelled straight up like butter, like straight up butter. Now it smells like spicy butter, like spicy buttered popcorn. All right, let's get a good amount. Okay, I thought I, I thought I got like soup based on my hand. I'm not hesitating. I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> and that's supposed to be the mild one. The spice is kicking in. This is absolutely delicious. It's very buttery. It's very, look, look at all this spice on this mushroom already. Mm. I could eat mushrooms raw, cooked, uh, canned or fresh. I went to Publix earlier and I got, oh my God. Mm. And, to, and here's the thing, I never bought this before. I've eaten hotter ones than this. This is the mildest one in the collection. This is like about like 3,200 Scoville units, which determines the spice. Oh my God. My lower lip is tingling with like a burn. Oof. I'm so used to looking that way because I usually have the camera pointed that way, but oh my goodness. Oh, I want another bite. Mm. I'm trying to make this educational, so I'm not gonna swear. Look at that. Mm. <coughs> wow if you're not prepared for that it goes to your throat and it gives it a little burn and it's kind of like getting pepper sprayed mm. oh my god that's so good in case you didn't see the packaging earlier this is um bulldog corn hot chicken flavored ramen 
And if I'm correct in assuming that the that the letters on here, sorry, chicken, uh, the letters on here, this is Korean. These are Korean ramen noodles imported from Korea. Let me see. Yeah, Seoul, South Korea, made in Korea. Man, that's burning. And this is the weakest one. This is 3,000 Scoville units, and this is the weakest one, and I'm already feeling burned. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Whew. I might have to get a drink later on, but my god, this, these noodles these noodles are good. I will not lie. <clears throat> these noodles are tasty. And they're super cheap at any store. They're, they're about $1.49 a pack. Because sometimes cup noodles cost a little bit, like two eighty nine, or this is a little more. But whew, my God. this is absolutely delicious. Koreans really know about their spice and their fermented stuff. Oh, mm. I'm so stupid for doing that, but it's so good. It's so friggin' good. Mm. I almost dropped it. Okay. All right. So I have two more that I, I think I got two more. Yeah, I have two more in the bag that I'm gonna do in later review. Cause I tell you, I think I'm gonna be farting out blood after I make this video. So after I'm done eating this, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. You know what? Let me flip the camera around. Cause I'm gonna. I'm so used to looking at the uh, on this side. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish this. Oh my god, 3,208 Scoville units for the uh, the corn flavored hot spicy chicken ramen noodles imported from Korea. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. Uh, I gotta turn the AC on. <laughs> They're such tasty noodles. I mean, look, at, look at the coloration on this. Look at that. Look how delicious that looks. Spicy, buttery, and I'm watching Star Wars in the background. I better not show too much. Oh, man. God. I'm going to do other videos later on, but I just wanted to make this review video. Oh, my goodness. That is spicy. That is really spicy. What's the main ingredient in this? Like, what type of spice do they use on here? All right, let's see. Red pepper powder, chili pepper powder. Uh, red pepper seed oil. Jeez. Uh... Black pepper powder, curry powder, I could feel it, paprika, and chili extract. I think that's what's doing it. Oh. All right, guys, so um, comment down below <clears throat> if you had similar experience to this. Oh, my God, my lip's turning red, and it's getting numb. Whew. That's how you know it's working. It looks like I'm wearing lipstick. <laughs> oh, my God. But that's from the that's from the seasoning that you get from that, and it's like brushing up against my lip. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna finish this, then I'm gonna cook another one, and I'm gonna review that. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you ever get the chance to buy this, let me know what you thought of it. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it too buttery? Was it too spicy? Whew. Also, pick up um, some of these mushrooms. It goes really good with anything. Whew. This has been Donkey Balls in my first food review, and it might not even be a last. So stay tuned for another episode, probably later on today, if not, maybe tomorrow. Whew. See you next time.